break, I was sitting in my room at my parents' house and of course there are no decorations left in there because I moved most of it away from college and it really just made me sad because my room was so empty and boring and I really did not like it. And because I had a month to do absolutely nothing, I decided that I would plan out how to revamp my college apartment. Now I do think that it already looked pretty cute, but I knew that I could still find some ways to improve my room. Now keep in mind that this is a college apartment, so I definitely do not have that much room to work with, but I think I made good use of what I got. So here's my bathroom currently. It doesn't need to be all that fancy, but it looks a bit too plain right now. My closet is pretty crammed and needs to be reorganized. I like what I already have in my room, but it's definitely missing some decorations. The walls are pretty plain and I'm not a big fan of my current furniture setup. I just think I could really improve how my room looks if I rearrange a bit and get some new things. The very first thing that needed to change was the lighting. It was very dim and yellow, so I switched out the light bulbs in my ceiling fan, closet light, and floor lamp, and it actually made a huge difference. Next, I reorganized my room. I basically played furniture Tetris to get everything where I wanted it without having to take it out of my room. I think rearranging everything helped open up the room and make it appear bigger. With my final setup, I moved my desk next to my window and put my rug in the adjacent corner and moved my bed on top of it. The first area I wanted to work on was my bed. I finally ordered a thick mattress pad because the mattresses they gave us are super uncomfy. I had to wait about an hour for it to fully foam up and it was so comfortable to sleep on once it did. I really like this and my covers still fit fine on top of it. I made my bed, put some cute pillows on it and it looks so cozy. Then I decided to put together my bar cart. I recently got an espresso machine, so I thought it would be cute if I set up a coffee bar on the cart. It took me like over an hour to put it together, but it was definitely worth it. I think it turned out really cute, and I managed to set it up so it was pretty, but still functional by holding all of my coffee supplies. So this was day one of making over my apartment. I'm super tired from driving all the way back to school and lugging all this stuff out from my car into my apartment. So I am going to stop here for today, but I'll be waking up bright and early tomorrow morning to continue. The reason I only really set up my bed and my bar cart today was because I need to sleep, so I had to do my bed, and because I have a crippling caffeine addiction and needed my bar cart to even survive. I think tomorrow I'm going to work on my little corner of the room with my pink chair and figure out how I'm going to set that all up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have another long day of decorating to do today, but first I'm going to need a coffee. The next corner of my room is where I plan to study slash scroll through TikTok on my fancy pink chair. I brought back my clothing rack from my parents house to set up over here too. I've had this thing for years and I just now figured out that I've been putting it together wrong the entire time and that it actually goes way higher than I originally had it. I put a bunch of clothes on it that matched the colors in my room and just looked really good together. I spent a while rearranging them how I liked and I'm in love with the final result. The only thing I didn't like was the black cable box sticking out underneath. I tried to cover it up with some tall boots and decorations, but I knew I would need to figure out what to put there later. The clothing rack kind of awkwardly covers up my prints, so I decided to relocate them. I also just wanted this wall to be blank so I could film some reels or videos here. I originally hung these up with some velcro command strips so it was easy to remove them without damaging the prints. Then I moved in my chair pillow and gold side table to finish up this section of my room. My next task was to put up this shelf above my bed. So I originally found this shelf my grandpa made a long time ago and I decided to stain it and use it in my room. First I had to completely sand the wood to get the stain to work. I had never done this before and I quickly found out how hard it is, and time consuming, and messy. I was sneezing out sawdust for the next two days after doing this. If you don't know how staining things works, basically you have to completely remove any finisher stain that was already on the wood or else when you put the new stain on it won't absorb it. Luckily we had this sander for the large flat parts, but I did still have to use sandpaper on the smaller areas with this block. I spent a couple hours sanding the shelf and by the end there were still some tough spots that I didn't have the energy or patience to completely sand, but I still did pretty good on the main parts of the shelf. I didn't record myself staining the shelf because I did have help holding it up 
but basically I painted on the stain and then wiped off as much as I could with the paper towels. Then I let it dry overnight. The next day, I had to seal the shelf. I painted on the sealant, waited a couple hours until it dried, and then lightly sanded the wood before applying another coat. I ended up applying four coats to the shelf, and the finished product is definitely far from perfect, but it's not bad for my first staining project. Since the shelf is so heavy, I did have to drill it into studs to keep it up. I used a stud finder to find the studs and mark them with a pencil. They are typically 16 inches apart, so I used a tape measure to mark where they should be and used the stud finder to confirm. My roommate had to help me hang it up, so I didn't record that part, but here's a very smooth transition into it being magically hung up. And I was super tired from hanging up the shelf, so I of course had to have another coffee break. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted to set up my decorations, but I knew I wanted some plants and vinyls up there, as well as some other random things. This is what it looked like, but I knew I would need to make a few tweaks and actually get a plant for my empty pot. To finish off this part of my room, I put up the rest of my prints from before. I got some new command strips and reattached the ones on the backs of the prints. I didn't buy enough though, so I'll have to buy some more before I can finish hanging these. I think they added a nice pop of color that this wall needed. I feel like we made pretty good progress today, we got a lot done, but I am going to have to run to Home Depot and probably Hobby Lobby tomorrow to pick up a few more things to finish my room. I think our main task for tomorrow is going to be dealing with my desk because let me just show you. It currently looks like an F5 tornado hit the area, so we're going to have to fix that. So yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. So it is day three of making over my apartment. I didn't end up making it to Hobby Lobby, so I will have to do that either later today or tomorrow. But I did reorganize my desk a lot, so we're going to be working on that today. As you can see, it looks way nicer. I ended up moving all the stuff that was on the desk to my closet. One nice thing about my apartment is that it already comes with the desk, bed, and chair already in the apartment, which is really, really nice, so I don't have to go out and buy that. However, I don't really think it matches my room at all, so I purchased some contact paper to cover the wood and make it more of a white marble top. First, I laid out the contact paper and it smoothed out any air bubbles and creases. To apply the paper, I peeled off small sections at a time and used the scrapey thingy to apply it without wrinkles. When I finished the first section, I cut off the excess paper with an X-Acto knife and cut smaller pieces to fit the rest of the desk. After I finished this section, I cut off the extra edges and smoothed it out some more. I think it turned out really, really nice. I don't really like how there's these lines here from where I had to use a new sheet. So I'm going to see if there's a way I can get rid of those, but other than that, I think it turned out really good. It is a little weird around these circles, but I didn't try that hard around them because I knew that I was just going to cover it up with stuff anyway. So here's how it turned out. I'm actually really in love with this. I think it's so, so pretty. And I don't think you can really even notice the lines I was worried about. Guys, I'm actually so obsessed with this. I think this is such a good decision. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom part because they have the wood on the bottom too, but it's not really that noticeable, so I guess I'll have to decide if I'm going to buy more or not. So I do have to stop for now, unfortunately, because I do have my first class of the semester. So I might keep working tonight or maybe tomorrow after I have all my supplies from Home Depot and Hobby Lobby, but I think my next project is going to be the bathroom. Okay, so here's my little haul for my room. First I got this cute little guy to go on my shelf above my bed, and then I also got this hanging plant. I'm actually going to make my own planter for it, so I guess just stay tuned for that. And then I couldn't find any command strips, so I ended up getting this double-sided scotch tape. So hopefully that works and doesn't tear up the back of my pictures. And then I also got these fake vines. I think I'm going to put them in my bathroom a little bit, and then maybe if I have some extras, I'll put them in a few spots around my room. I also got this cute little pencil holder from Hobby Lobby, and then a matching makeup organizer, which I'll show you in my bathroom later. Here are the makeup and jewelry organizers I got. 
I wanted to add some color to my bathroom, so I purchased fake ivy vines to hang up on the ceiling. I guess I wanted to match the strawberry theme I had going on here. I don't know. I just used some clear thumbtacks to hang them up, which aren't very discreet, but they get the job done and aren't that noticeable if you aren't looking for them. I had to stand in some weird places to hang these up, but surprisingly I didn't fall. I like how it turned out, and even though it may be a little weird to have vines spreading everywhere around you while you take a crap, it did add the pop of color I wanted. So today's project is trying to make a planter for this plant I got. And to make the planter, I'm gonna use a disco ball. I have this disco ball from a drop I did like probably almost a year ago now. And I've always wanted one of those disco ball planters they sell on Amazon. They're always too expensive or look too cheaply made. So I figured why not try to make my own. I used a knife to pry off the little sequins so I can make a little path to cut an opening into. You could also use some tweezers and pluck them out. Next, I cut out an opening big enough for me to be able to fit the pot into and cut off the edges of the styrofoam to make it look cleaner. So this is how it turned out. I actually really like it. I think this is so cute. And even though the brown pot does stick out a little bit, it's mostly covered and I think once this grows out a little bit more, you won't be able to tell at all. The one mistake I made, however, is that the hanging pot I used won't really go into the disco ball because if I reattach this to the pot, it just picks up only the pot and not the disco ball and kind of just slides it out of there when you hang it up. But that's okay because I wanted the hanging part to be metal anyway to match the disco ball. So I think I'm just gonna look on Amazon for some like wire ones and a hook so that way I can just make little holes in there, stick them in there, and then hang them up like that. But yeah, overall, really proud of this and I'm excited to put this in my room. First up is my little desk corner. So I actually really love how this turned out. I was worried that you're gonna be able to see the lines in the contact paper, but I don't think it's noticeable at all unless you're really looking for it. So on my desk, I have this little mirror tray with a perfume, a little pencil holder I got, and then just this random shelf for like coins and stuff, I guess. And then over here, I have my little slideshow, which plays pictures of both my family and of my cat, mostly my cat. And then I just got this little candle plant, and then my pearl purse. So yeah, again, super in love with this area, and I think that like making this look really nice and adding good lighting really helps me study because now I can sit here and just crank stuff out when before I would get super tired of sitting in the same spot. And then over here, I have my little disco ball planter that I made and I'm so proud of because this turned out so good. And then I have my little snake plant from before and my headshot planter. I'm literally obsessed with these curtains. They're like the softest thing ever and I think the color is so pretty. And now let's head over to my bar cart. Okay, so this is what I ended up arranging the bar cart like. I have my espresso machine up here and then all of my coffee stuff. And then I have all my syrups and everything all down here on the bottom. And then hanging up, I got these super cute pink glasses. I thrifted a set of four of these pink ones for like two bucks. And then I also got these cute pink champagne glasses from Amazon. I still need to find a third set for this third slot right here, but I think I'm just gonna look at their stores for that. And then I also have my record player here, and it actually doesn't open all the way because this wine thing is here, but I can still use it just fine, and I really like how it looks on here. I also put up these two super cute coffee posters that I got from Etsy. I think next we'll move on to the corner of my room with my bed. So this is what this area looks like all put together, and again, I'm super, super happy with how it turned out. I'm really proud of my shelf, and I really love the plants, records, and little knickknacks that I decorated with. I got some thicker pillows for inside these, as well as this little heart one to kind of puff things out a little bit, which I think makes my bed look a lot nicer. And then I moved all my prints that were on that other wall over here, which I also think adds a lot of color and decoration to this area. So yeah, super happy with how this turned out. I think it's so cute and matches the pink green aesthetic that I have going on perfectly. Okay, so this is my bathroom. I didn't change a whole lot, except I did put some vines on the ceiling and then the lights. Then I also got my little makeup and jewelry organizers. There's also not a lot to show you in the closet, but I did reorganize a lot and made room for a lot more stuff in here. I really love this setup for this chair. I think it ended up really cute and convenient for just chilling in this chair, doing some homework, and watching some TikToks. Over on this table, I just have another one of these shell things with coins in it, an alarm clock, and then this little like heart thing filled with the random crap. For my clothing rack, I chose pieces that matched both my room 
and this current season. So when spring comes around, I'll probably change this to more pastel colors or something like that and just kind of keep it going with the season, but still colors that match my room. Kind of cover up this black box that's just sitting on my wall there. I also got this cute crate for all my records, and then I put a couple of stuffed animals on the other side. So yeah, I love how this corner of the room turned out. And I know I keep saying that about every part of my room, but I just genuinely am so, so happy with how this place turned out. And I am very excited to have my room like this for the next semester. So that's all I have to show you for my room, and I know that it doesn't seem very big, but it is just a college apartment, and I feel like I did a good job of making do with what I had. A lot of work went into putting this place together, and I think that it paid off and significantly improved how my room looks. So if you are currently in a college dorm or apartment, or you just live in like a smaller area, this video is meant to show you that you don't need a really big space to make your home look cute. I hope that you enjoyed making over my room with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.